Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of air. So if you are Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for July 17th through the 19th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Um, also remember guys, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below on how to do that. Um, and then also Friday readings are, are getting booked kind of fast for the past few weeks. So I apologize in advance if I have to book you to the following Friday. So. All right, um, central issue, heart of the matter, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Six of Cups, we have Death, Five of Pentacles, Temperance, the Nine of Cups, and Empress. Okay, um, I almost want to say off the bat, you might hear that somebody lost someone close to them or went through a breakup or whoever has lost someone already or gone through some sort of breakup already, you might hear from this person um, and I almost feel like they need to vent they're like someone is venting and expressing how they feel because they they you know broke up, especially uh, for some sort of breakup. Um, those of you that are in relationships, I feel like somebody is telling you that um, they're. Well, I'm sorry if you're in a relationship. I feel like unfortunately you may be walking out, or the relationship could be ending. Um, and really more so to those of you that have had like a shaky relationship already. You already knew this was coming. Um, it could be made official over the weekend. It's funny though, because I feel that it's the opposite if you are single. I feel like if you're single, it's possible that um, those days are over. Single days are over. Hmm. Whatever this is, I, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of loss. It also could be some sort of job loss or financial loss. I feel that with temperance here saying that you're going to be recovered from whatever it is that you lost. I really feel like this is more so about somebody telling you or there uh, some sort of news breaks about a breakup. It's like, oh, it's breaking news, news flash. We're not together anymore. Um, and then also because the Empress is here, I'm, I mean, depending on your situation, it might be good news to you. It's like, oh, good. We could be together now because it does look like a situation where two healed people, two people who are both confident uh, in themselves are uh, coming together. There also could be someone that admires you that's showing, showing you that they admire you. Someone might do something like, this looks like an artist. Someone might be sending you a picture showing you that they sketched, sketched a picture of you or for you. Um, I feel too like you guys might have a soulmate that you're in connection with. There's a soulmate's energy that you might be overwhelmed with. If you start feeling some sort of heart palpitations, that also could be some sort of confirmation that somebody uh, outside of yourself is in trouble or is in need and needs to vent. It could be your best friend. Yeah. 
I feel like somebody is just like, I don't know. I didn't know who else to talk to or I didn't know who else to share this to. It looks stereotypical, but I almost feel like maybe somebody is making um, some tea for somebody, like inviting somebody over, like, let's talk about it. And then somebody like making tea and having uh, talking about things that are uplifting and that helps uh, somebody feel better. You might be acting as a healer over the weekend to someone else's sorrows, or it could be reverse. You might be going to somebody drowning in your sorrows or hurting about some things that happen that are painful and you just kind of need to vent and they go and they, they talk to you or do things that make you feel better. So either way, I feel like somebody is getting nursed back to health over the weekend or someone needs to be nursed back to health. Something's going on with fertility too. I can't quite pinpoint it. I mean, it's possible that somebody thought they were pregnant or they've been trying to get pregnant but have been unsuccessful or have been having miscarriages or something of that sort. But here looks like a healthy pregnancy. So I don't know if you, you keep trying and then finally um, you, you know, you have a pregnancy, a successful pregnancy. Hmm. Okay. Now it also could be that uh, the news flash could be about somebody who is expecting and maybe if you feel like it hurts, like something hurt you. Hmm. Spiritually, you might be receiving messages from the dead or the dead might be trying to get your attention. Ooh, matter of fact, something something did happen to me. I'm going to share it really quick. Um, I was sleeping. This was actually two days ago. I was sleeping and in my dream, I was trying to say prayers and I felt like something kept nudging my back something kept like tapping or pushing my back and I was just like kind of irritated because I'm like no I'm trying to pray and so I finally like woke up and something told me to look out the window and I saw saw two bright stars I'm assuming maybe they're planets I, I tried checking yesterday I didn't see them anymore um, and then I also came across a news article about Jupiter being very bright in the sky um, at a certain time. And it was around four or something when I woke up at my, at my sleep. And I saw it really, be, may, and maybe because I have romantic thoughts all the time, but it looked like these two planets were talking to each other. I don't know what the other bright star was, but one of them was like really big and bright. And it was flashing, and then the one like a few feet, what well, looks like a few feet over from where I, you know I'm standing, um, it looks like the the other star would flash back. So it looked like two stars were communicating with each other. Um, but I feel like I said all that because it made me think of I felt like maybe a spirit was like tapping my back to get me to go look at something. So you might be experiencing something from. Um, you know, spirits that are trying to get your attention, um, especially if you've been feeling bad about something or you you start to lose faith. Um, I feel like your faith is going to be restored here. Like you might be coming out of some sort of dark times and something happens where all of a sudden you feel much better. This also could be a situation where somebody is playing matchmaker and they're like oh you're single so is my friend or so is this person and two people two single people are getting matched up and this also kind of looks like cupid arrows so who knows maybe you're maybe you're loved you're uh, crossed over crossed over your ancestors or your loved ones who have crossed over are trying to help or assist you and matching you up with somebody who knows um, now, I do feel, too, that by 
the time the weekend is out, even if it does start off rough by the end of the week or the weekend, you are having some sort of wish fulfillment or you're feeling some um, enjoyment out of life. This also looks about maybe indulging in in things that feel good, eating good food, drinking good wine, um, or just indulging on entertainment. Um, so something also looks like indulgement, indulgement or uh, pleasures, even if it happens to be self-pleasuring. <laughs> Um, I feel too like you might be focused on what's good for you, even if someone else is unable to fulfill your desires or your needs. I feel like you're doing it for yourself. You're like, I don't need them to do that. I, I can do this for myself. I don't need somebody to buy me gifts or take me shopping or, you know, whatever the case may be. Or I don't need that job anyway. Like I already had a business. I'm going to focus on that because like I was saying that this does look like it could be a job loss or financial loss. And you, I feel like after some sort of initial disappointment, you kind of, immediately get back up on your feet and you're like well you know what I have a talent I didn't need that company to pay me I could pay myself so I do feel like you are investing into yourself um, so let's clarify a few things here I also feel that you are you might be in denial of a soulmate or you guys are really in denial of each other. Like you can feel this person's energy, but you try to deny it. I, I feel too that this person tries to get your attention in sleep, during sleep. I see you guys also getting excited again, or you feel expired. The reason why somebody comes into your life is to help you realize that something was a dead end in the first place. Either that you were in a dead end relationship or uh, a dead end job. Someone's words, I feel like you're also going to be transformed. AKA inspired by someone's words or someone's actions and it inspires you to do something different too. Let me look at uh, death. Or not necessarily something different, but it just inspires you uh, to, to take action or to pursue your dreams. Now I just saw something about dead religion. Some of you, this is about a job loss. Somebody might need some help or they're asking um, for some sort of assistance. See, and I was trying not to say it, but the, the house card came out for me. So I feel like maybe somebody might need a place to stay, like if they lost their home. I feel like they're, they might be coming to you. They're like, I need a place to stay. Can I stay here for a while? Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, hmm. Or Sagittarius. I wouldn't worry too much if you guys do... Um, lose a job or because I feel like you're going to find like that that's the catalyst for something else like the job loss is the catalyst for you either finding a better job or for you to uh, establish your own business especially if you already planned on doing that and you had already started on some things um, this would be uh, the per perfect opportunity to get back towards that um, if this is about that breakup and you, but you're single, like I said, I feel like somebody is coming towards you talking about, 
I'm not I'm no longer in that relationship anymore, especially if it was a relationship that was very toxic or codependent. Um, or you could be finally ending a relationship that was codependent. It doesn't matter. It, you know, I just feel like there is going to be the experience of, of a loss this weekend. Now, when I say that I'm not talking about uh, predicting a death, for those of you that are new, I don't predict deaths. Um, so if you if you're finding if you find out that somebody has passed away, um, I feel like you already knew that before you stumbled onto this reading. I don't want you thinking you watched a reading and then you come back and you're like, oh my God, somebody's gonna die over the weekend. Like I don't predict deaths because I told Spirit I don't want to predict that. So if I'm picking up on an actual death, it's it's a death that has already happened. Um. But I do talk about breakups and job losses. So that might be uh, in home loss too, like evictions. So it could be something of that sort that gets confirmed. And if it isn't happening to you, like I said, it just, it might be happening around you. Someone also may have made a bad investment and now they're like, can you help me? Can you help me recover? You might voluntarily decide to help someone or assist someone like nobody asked, but you just kind of take the initiative. Especially if you kind of sense like something's wrong. You're like, I feel like I need to call so-and-so. Five of Pentacles so far being clarified by lovers, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands. Um, okay, so I see this as a couple of ways. Uh, for one, this Five of Pentacles energy is about somebody wanting to talk uh, or communicate, but they're maybe have too much pride to initiate communication um, or to reach out. Hmm. Um, I also feel that this may have something to do with a breakup due to not having one's needs met. So if somebody feels like their needs aren't being fulfilled, if someone comes into your life and they're offering what your partner isn't offering, I feel like you might take that offer um, because somebody isn't having their needs met but they run into someone else who can fulfill those desires. Let's even say it's not something sexual, but let's say it's about money um, and your partner doesn't have enough money to, to get something for you. I feel like if you ran into an ex or you ran into somebody who was attracted to you that way and they were like, and you were telling them what was going on and they offered to help, you would take it. So it's, it's either something financial or sexual in nature where your needs are being left unfulfilled. And I feel like somebody's stepping in and able to fulfill that. And then the other thing I feel that what this is talking about is, like I said, somebody talking about what they lost. Like, I lost my job. I lost my home. I lost my breakup. I mean, I lost my breakup. Oh, my God. Um we're not in a relationship anymore. We broke up. You know, you whatever the conversation is, is being communicated with you. Um, now, I, I also got the name Benjamin for somebody. Now, it might be about Benjamins. Like, I need some Benjamins. You got a couple of Benjamins I could borrow. So, I don't know, but I am getting the name Benjamin. And I do see that, you know, the High Priestess cards has the... Uh, the BJ on there and I'm not going to get into what that means you guys can discuss that if you want to in the comments um, I've read about what it means but I know I'm about to uh, mispronounce it so I'm not going to go there <laughs> um, and I know that it, it represents those two pillars but um, 
just specifically something about saying B and J made me think of the name Benjamin. So I feel like maybe there's someone around you and that's their name or maybe that's their last name. Um, okay, what else was I getting here? It also could be that somebody's secrets come out when they're drunk. Because someone's had a few too many drinks, they start talking about, it's like the alcohol is the truth serum. Let me look at the Empress here a little more. So the Empress also clarified by the sun. Um, again, it just looks like either good news or confirmation um, or something turning out to be good by the time the weekend is out. I feel like you're going to feel good. There's going to be some sort of happy news. You might even get some sort of uh, compliments. And then I also have Six of Pentacles coming out and Temperance. So I see assistance. Either someone is going to be able to assist you if you're the one that needs it or you are the one assisting someone because you got it. And it makes you feel good to be able to give uh, to help or to even nurture. Like if someone is venting to you, I feel like you would feel good about it because you're like, I like nurturing. Hmm. Now, someone also might need a babysitter or they're asking, can you can you uh, watch my child? Because of the sun does make me think of a literal son. Um, so I don't know if someone needs a, a babysitter. You might be able to do that or someone might do that for you. If this is about getting involved with someone who's a single parent, I feel like this person has a son. Like specifically. They might have a son and daughter, or they might just have have a daughter, but I'm picking up on the energy of someone who has a son. Um, I also feel that whoever is not asking for help or has too much pride to ask for help that um, outside forces, are going to intervene and uh, put you in a position where either this person is going to offer you assistance or you end up having to speak up and, and say what it is that you need. I feel like outside forces are going to intervene. So let's pull some energy cards. All right. What are the messages for air signs for this Friday, Saturday? And Sunday, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Messages, additional messages for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Door to personal healing and happiness. We have hostilities, six chakra, Archangel Metatron, and appreciation as the central issue. All right, so I do feel that you guys are um, going to be appreciated. I feel that you are also maybe uh, focused on you and your values or you are showing gratitude for the things that you have been uh, blessed with. I'm trying not to use the word blessed, but I can't, haven't figured out a word to use other than that. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm putting my intentions into it, but yeah, uh, I feel like, you know, being given something, abundance of something, good things with the door to personal healing and happiness opening up to you. So I feel like there is some sort of opportunity opening up 
where you are going to have a, some sort of fulfillment or it's like somebody is showing you that they appreciate you or you would be showing someone that you appreciate them. The only thing is that let's say you are the one you know someone has too much pride to ask for help or to say that they um, miss you or been thinking about you um, and let's say you put yourself out there for, first so you were like okay I'm gonna open up my doors and help this person or I'm gonna open up the doors and speak first I feel like even though you are opening your doors whatever it is that you're offering to whoever I feel like they're still being prideful or being guarded um, or giving you a hard time and you're like look I'm just trying to help or I'm just trying to be honest I'm just trying to do this or whatever I feel like somebody might come off still a little hostile or guarded um, even though you are trying to open your doors or help or give some sort of assistance I feel like spirit is also telling you that you need to have um, use your your higher knowledge for a situation before you make some sort of decision something is requiring you to um, listen to your intuition you may have already had some sort of premonition or foresight about a matter and for some reason I'm still feeling like patience like you need patience to deal with this type of energy patience are taking a higher role either one is gonna help you in in whatever this is here also if there's someone around you that you don't trust like you feel like something like I don't know red flags go up when someone comes in your presence listen to that if there's someone around you that you feel like is an enemy then they probably are or there's a reason for that mm. hmm I'm also getting here I'm just looking at the dot here representing that third eye energy and how this door is opening here so some of you guys again it just looks like some sort of premonition you might have a premonition or it's like something gets activated like your third eye gets activated um, over the weekend something triggers it maybe too it takes for you to get upset for this to be activated for whatever reason Hmm. All in all, I feel that you'll be okay so long as you do uh, trust whatever spirit is saying to you or whatever intuition is telling you. Or if you had any type of premonitions, go back to that dream journal and see that you were already warned about something. Hmm. And then we have community here. I feel like, again, something in regards to being set up. Like someone is trying to play matchmaker, bringing people together. I also feel that if you do meet someone new, that you guys belong to the same spiritual community. Or that's the thing that you guys have in common. If you do make a new friend, whether it's romantic or not, if you make some sort of new connection, I feel like you're going to be guarded with this person at first. And then, like I said, there's something about your red flags or something's going off. But after you talk to this person, you're going to understand why you had those red flags or why you felt a little guarded towards their energy. Like your, your intuition is picking something up before you do, of course. And then once you have a conversation with this person, or I feel like you're not going to feel that way anymore. I feel like you're going to let your guards down or this other person is going to let their guards down. Because somebody might not trust you off the bat either. But after having some sort of conversation, they're like, okay, I know what I was picking up. So yeah, it could be some sort of misunderstanding. So those are the messages. Uh, hopefully those messages make sense, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in.